Okay, we're looking at the factor theorem here and solving problems. Now, with this one, there are two unknowns. I will just change. Uh, so they are M and N here. Okay, and what we're going to do is use the factor theorem to um, essentially work out what M and N are. So with the first one, so with this one, I'm going to try and colour code it. All right, I need to put two into this, and I know it should equal zero because they are factors. So we should have two cubed plus m times two squared uh, plus n times two plus 42 equals zero, which is going to give me, uh, what's that, eight plus four m plus two n plus 42 equals zero, running out of room. Um, I can simplify that in a bit. Now, doing this one here, I'm going to put negative three in there, aren't I? So, oops, negative three cubed plus m times negative three squared plus n times negative three plus 42 equals zero. And we end up with negative 27 minus three m, uh, sorry, plus Oh, sorry, I apologise. I was looking at the wrong one. I just need to rub that out. Okay. Um, see, I make mistakes as well. 27. Uh, and then, sorry, we get minus 3 squared, which is 9 plus 9m nine uh, minus 3n. That's the bit I thought I was doing, but plus, that should be 42, shouldn't it? Plus 42 equals 0. So what I now have is, and I'll do this in black, if I um, simplify all of this, I should have 4m plus 2n equals negative 50. And I should have, what's that, uh, 3, 9m minus 3n equals... What's that? Minus 27 plus 42. What's the uh, it's 15? Negative 15. Okay, and I then have two simultaneous equations. I'm going to multiply this one by 3 and this one by 2. Um, so if I multiply that by 3, I should get 12m. I'll do a little arrow there. 12m uh, plus 6n equals negative 150. And I should have uh, 18m minus uh, 6n equals negative 30. Add them up, the n's will disappear. I end up with 30m equals negative 180. Well, that's kind of... So m equals negative 6. Excellent. Now, if I know uh, that m equals negative 6... I can, and I've got another colour here somewhere, so I can put that into one of these, doesn't matter which. I'm going to put it into the first one. Uh, right, we need to get back to that colour. So we get uh, minus 24 plus 2n equals negative 50. So I end up with 2n equals 26. So n equals 13, and I'm just checking my answer. Uh, hang on, sorry, negative 13. I do apologise. Uh, let me just check my answer. And that is correct. All right, so there you go. It's using the facts theorem to solve problems. It, again, it's all stuff. Uh, it's just substitution and then solving simultaneous equations. And you know how to do both of those from probably about year nine. So there you go. Enjoy.